Until today, Facebook's experience on mobile has basically been its website crammed into a little app. It was really cluttered with all these extraneous features and it made it hard to just feel focused the way that mobile apps really work these days. People want single experiences and that's why today Facebook launched Paper. It's a new content reading experience that's sort of a replacement for the news feed and it lets you experience the best content from big publishers all the way down to random public figures or little bloggers. But more than just being a content reading experience, Paper could actually replace Facebook for some users. It's got notifications, messages, friend requests, and search all embedded inside of it. And so if people really want a more visually striking experience, they could go to Paper instead of Facebook. Let's take a look at how it works. When you first get into Paper, you'll see a redesigned news feed with big cover images at the top and the stories that you're looking at on the bottom. You can scroll through the stories at a half screen or look at them full screen one at a time. This gives added emphasis to the content and makes you slow down. If you see a story you like, you just pull up and it opens as if you're opening a page of a newspaper. This brings you to the web view of whatever article you were going to read. By swiping at the top, you can change between different sections of your paper. And if you want to add new ones, you can just pull down and open the Edit Sections tab. You'll get a little carousel of different types of content that you can pull up into the top to add it. So if I like food, I might add the flavors section, whereas if I want more home decoration and fashion stuff, I might pull up Well Live, which is kind of like Pinterest. Then you can see that each of these sections is at the top of my paper. I can even reorder the different sections of my paper by grabbing one and moving it around. In fact, you can grab two and move it around if you really want to with some cool multi-touch UI tricks that the team built in. Facebook didn't just redesign posts with paper, but much of the Facebook experience. If I click through to a friend, I see their redesigned paper profile with a big cover image up top and different tiles that I can look at full screen to look through their about information, friends, and photos. Here's New York Times with the paper treatment. You can look through its old posts quickly by scrolling at the top or look through its stories one at a time. If you pull down, you'll reveal the rest of your paper so you can easily scruff away parts that you don't want to look at anymore. Paper also includes friend requests, messages, and notifications, and they all pop up overlaid over the top of your paper. That way you never lose your context. It's almost like chat heads, but for the whole notifications experience. Photos look especially great in paper thanks to some UI tricks like panoramic viewing. If I open a photo that's bigger than the portrait view of my phone, I can actually tilt back and forth to look at the sides of the photo or move my entire phone around as if I was taking a panorama photo. It's basically like augmented reality for photo viewing. Paper isn't just about browsing content, it's about sharing it too. And it has a special visual composer that shows you exactly what it looks like when you're about to post something. So there's no guessing about how it will appear to your friends. If I wanted to take a panoramic shot of some of the graffiti art we have inside of TechCrunch, I'd just open up the iOS camera app and shoot a panoramic photo like I normally would. Then to share the panoramic photo to paper, I'd drag down from the top and reveal the Create Post button, where it shows an exact preview of what I want to post. So first, maybe I'll add a location like the TechCrunch headquarters, which pops up as a map. And then I add my panoramic photo from my camera roll. And I can write a description of it, like TechCrunch has street cred. And I'll see exactly how it's going to look inside of paper. What's cool is if I or somebody else looks at that photo inside of paper, they'll actually be able to tilt back and forth to get the full panoramic effect, or just move their entire phone to get that same effect. To contrast, inside of Facebook, the image is just sort of squeezed inside the feed and you have to manually look inside and do a bunch of pinching and zooming to be able to actually get that panoramic effect. The thing I noticed most about using paper was that it really made me slow down and think about every post that I saw. 
on the web newsfeed or even its mobile newsfeed before, I would just quickly swipe up and scroll through all these stories at once and hardly even get a chance to read them. I'd skim them or just not even really care if the photos didn't look interesting. By showing me content one at a time, I'm much more likely to consider, is this something I really want to read or is this something I care about? And I found myself way more likely to click that like button. Paper certainly isn't perfect. It crashed a lot while we were trying to do our review. Uh, if you scroll down too many times too quickly uh, and you get to the top of the article, you might accidentally close an article. And the messages uh, appear really small when you're trying to chat with friends. But for version one, paper is impressive. Its beauty is addicting. And I found myself just wanting to go there instead of looking at the white space and chrome filled old Facebook app. If you're a hardcore news reader, you're still going to want the algorithmic suggestions of Prismatic or the ability to read Friends magazines in Flipboard. But honestly, if you just want to lay in bed and read Facebook, the paper experience is just so much more of a lean back style. It looks better from farther away and therefore it's just a lot more relaxing to read. As much as Facebook wants it to be a true standalone experience, part of its new Facebook Creative Labs initiative to get more mobile experiences built, paper actually could replace Facebook entirely, and it's even designed that way. Secretly hidden in the settings is one that allows you to open your push notifications in Facebook paper instead of Facebook for iOS. So we'll see how people like it over the next few weeks. Thanks for watching.